Day five of testimony in the case against the mother of the Oxford High School shooter. Jennifer Crumbly is facing four counts of involuntary manslaughter and the deaths of Madison Baldwin, Hannah St. Juliana, Tate Meir and Justin Schilling. 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney is live outside the Oakland County Courthouse this afternoon. And Whitney, the prosecution now showing jurors the moments after the shooting. Well, yes, Allie, yesterday ended with the prosecution showing jurors the moments at, that, uh, excuse me, it ended with jurors being shown a 49 minute long video of Jennifer Crumbly in the back of a squad car following that shooting. Today, we're getting a closer look at just what police officers saw of the Crumblies as they began their investigation. It appears at this point, the prosecution is now working to show that the Crumblies intended to run following the shooting. The first witness called was was a lieutenant with the Oakland County Sheriff's Office. He spoke about Jennifer's demeanor as police worked to seize her and her husband's cell phones as a part of that search warrant. He noted that she was reluctant to give up her phone and seemed irritated. We also heard from a former Oakland County Sheriff's Officer who was a part of the fugitive task force that apprehended the Crumblies at an art gallery in Detroit in the days that followed the shooting. He detailed looking at several hotels in the area, family members houses, and finding a vehicle registered to the Crumbly's abandoned at an Auburn Hills hotel. He says that they were trying to facilitate a peaceful surrender, but they were unsuccessful. Additionally, we heard from a Detroit business owner who spotted the Crumbly's car at his place of business late at night and alerted police to their location. Jennifer Crumbly crying. No. Was Jennifer Crumbly um, what, what were her mannerisms or gestures at that point? She seemed irritated and, and frustrated. Um, I remember taking notes down and she made a statement to me saying that uh, he lives were lost today and he's going to have to suffer. And I found that odd. Now, in opening statements, additionally in cross-examination periods, the defense has very clearly tried to make it obvious that the Crumblies had no intention of running. Shannon Smith, their defense attorney, says that they were there at that art gallery that night as a safety precaution. She says that the family was receiving multiple death threats. For now, live here in Pontiac, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News.